Hey guys, God bless. This is Inspiring Grace here with a new video. And I would just like to say right off the bat that this will be this video will form part of my weekly biblical teaching videos, which will be out every Sunday from this Sunday on, probably around the earlier parts of the day rather than the later parts of the day. Just because it's easier for me to make these videos early on in the day than it would be later on in the day. And this video, of course, as you can already tell, is titled The Importance of Fearing the Lord. Now, let me just start this video up by saying that the most fundamental thing that a Christian needs or that anyone needs who's seeking, who wants to seek the Lord, is fear of the Lord. Now, fear of the Lord is the most fundamental building block that any Christian needs or that any person seeking to desire needs. On top of that, we not only need fear of the Lord, but we also need to preserve it. I would like to open up by saying Proverbs 1 7, which says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Now, pay close attention to what this verse says. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. In other words, if you don't fear the Lord, you haven't even come to grasp. You haven't even come to attain true knowledge because true knowledge can only be found in God. True knowledge is only indwells inside God and indwells inside of those who have Christ in their heart. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Without fear of the Lord, we will not be able to serve Him. We will not be able to please a God. We will not be able to please God. We will not be able to live a God pleasing to God. We will not be able to carry out God's mission, God's will for us. Because if we don't fear the Lord, we will not obey what He says. We will not take into account what He instructs us to do. That's why fearing the Lord is quintessential. It is absolutely imperative. That every Christian have fear of the Lord. That is the most fundamental building block in any Christian's spiritual walk. Fearing the Lord. Now, I would like, I would like to also cite Palms, Psalms sorry, 42 1, which says exactly like this. As the deer pans for the streams of water, so my soul pans for you, O God. Just as the deer desires water out of streams. Just as the deer desires food innately, so too us Christians and anyone else looking to find God need to innately, to naturally desire God as the living bread. Because the Word of God also says in Matthew 4.4, 4, For man shall not eat of bread alone, but of every word that proceedeth from the word, from the mouth of God. We need to desire God daily as we desire bread, as we desire to breathe. We have to desire God to the point where desiring God and following God becomes second nature as is breathing. We never think about breathing. It just happens. So too, we need to reach that point, that level where following God isn't a problem, where following God isn't a nuisance, where following God isn't a hassle, but rather following God is a joy, but, but rather following God is the medicine for our soul, but rather following God is the joy and the motor for our life. That is the point that we need to reach as Christians. But as I said already several times, we need to first fear the Lord. And now what the Bible says fear, it is getting at that we need to revere the Lord. We need to reverence Him. And when you reverence something, you respect it. You adhere to any rules that might be instructed to you by that thing which you are revering. And just like that, we need to revere God. We need to fear God. And it's just, I just want to clarify that when I say fearing God, I don't mean um, the other fear that many people understand as I'm scared of God. No, that's not what it's getting at. When the word fear in this verse refers to reverence, when we reverence God. And really, without any fear for the Lord, we cannot serve Him. We cannot preach the gospel as we're instructed to. We cannot do anything inside God's will because without fear of the Lord, we're basically useless. We cannot be used for God's glory if we don't have fear for Him. On top of that, if we don't have fear for the Lord, we also won't have 
faith. And we know that it is impossible for us to serve God without faith. The Bible even cites this and says this. It is impossible for us to please the Lord without faith. The importance of fearing the Lord. The importance of fearing the Lord. It is very important and urgent that every Christian fear the Lord. Fear Him daily. Revere Him as much as possible in our daily walk, in our personal lives, in our schooling, in every aspect and facet of our life. We need to honor the Lord. We need to give Him glory. And most of all, we need to fear Him. For without fear, I reiterate once more, we won't be able to serve God. We won't be able to carry out His mission. And we will fail as Christians. We will fail to evangelize the lost soul. So let me just wrap up this video by saying and repeating once more. We need to fear the Lord. For the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. A college degree is not the beginning of knowledge. Owning your own enterprise isn't the beginning of knowledge. Fearing the Lord is. Now, I would just like to leave this video as is, and I would just like to give a quick word before wrapping up this video by saying that there will be these types of videos where I'll give some biblical teachings founded on one verse where I'll go and use several other verses to prove the point that I'm trying to get across, which in this video was the importance of fearing the Lord. Now, in the future, these videos will be much more in-depth, and I will use much more Bible verses to prove my points biblically. So that way you guys can get um, more videos that are more rich and more compact and more detailed in the future. But for now, but for this video, I decided to make a quick biblical teaching founded on Proverbs 1 7 that says, Fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Now, these will be out every Sunday at around 10 a.m., 9 a.m., a.m. I haven't really set a specific time, but they were. They will be out during the morning, not, not the afternoon or the night. They will be out in the morning. And I will title, and I will abbreviate these videos, WBT, Weekly Biblical Teachings, with the title of what I'm trying to teach next to it in the video. Now, as always, I would like to thank all of you guys for watching. Please support the channel by liking, commenting, subscribing, or, so much as, or even so much as a prayer would be helpful. Now this is Inspiring Grace. Thank you guys for watching as always and God bless.